The alternative asset opportunity strategy, what we refer to as Alta, is a liquid alts mutual fund. The objective of the portfolio is to deliver a return of cash plus 4% net of fees with a low beta and a low correlation to equities. We aim for a beta of 0.2 over a cycle and a correlation of 0.5 or less relative to equities. The way we think about building the portfolio is we allocate to alpha related strategies and then what we call fundamental risk premium type strategies. So these are insurance like activities like merger are. We think that combination of alpha with fundamental risk premium exposures gives you a more consistent, more durable pattern of returns relative to other products in the marketplace. We think that today is a very good opportunity to allocate to alternative assets. As we think about broad beta, uh, stocks have done very well, bonds have done very well, the market is expensive. One of the things that concerns us is if you do get interest rates rising, if you do get the discount rate increases, that is going to impact everything with duration, both stocks and bonds. And so we like allocating to an alternative strategy which has very low beta and very low duration so that if those rates move around, that has a minimal impact on the overall portfolio. So it acts as a very strong diversifier relative to traditional assets. We also think that the opportunity set today in those individual strategies is, is very good. Um, that there are wide spreads, there's more volatility, there's more dispersion, there's more chances for us to add value at the underlying security selection level. The Alta strategy is different than other products we see in the marketplace in that we do combine alpha-oriented strategies along with fundamental risk premium or insurance-like activities. The alpha strategies are strategies that we've developed in-house, in some instances, uh, portfolios that we worked on for, for 20 years. That combination of alpha where there's no structural beta, we combine that with fundamental risk premium strategies, which are different than alternative risk premium strategies that you see out in the market. Those types of strategies, long, short, value, carry, momentum, largely, we believe, have been commoditized. So we focus on the fundamental risk premium strategies, which are really insurance-like strategies where we understand why we are getting paid for the activity and what we are getting paid. And here we're really referring to our merger ARB strategy as well as selling puts on equity indexes. And that combination of alpha with fundamental risk premium type uh, strategies gives us what we believe is a more durable competitive advantage versus the market versus our peers. In our history of managing alternative strategies, we've had some very significant opportunities to add value at the top-down allocation level, really built off our asset allocation framework. We've had opportunities in the past where risk assets were very expensive, we were in very bubbly markets, and we were able to shift our portfolios into more defensive stances. Conversely, when those markets get hit, the prices of those assets fall and become more attractive. We've been able to rotate into those cheaper securities. So that's what we've been doing in asset allocation for 30 years, and we take those same principles and apply them to the alternative asset opportunity strategy, where when we get into extremes like 07, like 08, like 2000, GMO has had a very strong history of identifying those periods and then allocating portfolios, protecting capital when it's needed, as well as increasing risk when the opportunity set presents itself. Mm -hmm.